Hello everyone, the Senpai Code here, aka Blitzstorm. So today I'm going to be showing you a more advanced tutorial on how to make glass. So you'll have a reflective surface in the glass so that it will reflect anything, palm trees or anything if a player is running by in front of it or anything that's behind it. It will reflect it all. Uh, so if I go over here, it's reflecting these palm trees that are behind it and uh, how to make it reflect off to the distance how far that you want to actually reflect and how to actually make it if you want more see-through or different colors etc i will be going over that today in this little like hopefully five minute tutorial so let's jump in because i want to make this as quickly as possible so uh what we're going to do is we're going to create a game object first 3d cube i'm just going to bring this into the viewport i'm actually just going to delete this one uh, let's go ahead and bring this over here. Let's just resize it to the window size, which will be uh, 0 0.05, 3, and 2. Let's go ahead and bring this up. So what we're going to do is we're then going to create a material. So let's go ahead and create material, and we'll call this glass. So for this glass, we'll just drag and drop it on. We'll re-click on this object that we have, this cube. We're going to open up the glass. All we need to do is go transparent. We're going to bring the smoothness up. Now the smoothness, once we add the reflect probe on, the smoothness will be what adds the most reflective surface onto the glass. The least amount of smoothness you have, the less reflective it will be, the more, the more it will be reflective as you'll see in a second. So let's go ahead and make this a bit transparent. So all we need to do is go to the Elbium, I believe this is, and we'll just uh, move this down. The more you move it down, the more see-through the glass will be. Uh, so it depends on how see-through you want the glass to be. Same colors, if you want this to be a red window, then you'll go to red and it will actually start tinting, tinting the glass red. And then once you go into the red and stuff, then you'll have to actually start uh, moving the Elbium to get it that tint. And that's basically all there is to tint, tint in the window. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and close this now that it is uh, tinted. Let's go ahead and right click on the cube that we have. And let's go ahead and go to light and then add a reflection probe. And then let's go ahead and resize the square here for the reflective probe. Now the more distance it is, the more reflective distance it will have. Um, more higher quality it is and you don't want to add the intensity if you add an intensity then it's going to uh, light pretty much the whole area so we're just going to resize this to let's say five uh, distance away from the window uh, let's go ahead and make this the same height as the window and then let's go ahead and just make this uh, three because i think i named it two yeah so it's off a bit from the uh, window and let's go ahead and make it a box projection and as you can see, since when I turned it on, you can, if you watch the cube, it starts reflecting everything there. And so that's all you need to do for the uh, reflective probe. And as you can see, now we got that window. We got the uh, reflective palm trees and everything. We can actually see the mountain in the background. Uh, we can still see through it. And if you go to this side, you can see the palm trees and everything. Now, let's... Uh, and as I see said before, if you move the uh, smoothness, the smoothness is what adds the reflection onto the uh, surface. So if you don't want that smooth, then you can always change uh, the reflective property of the window. Same, more see-through and everything that you want it. So let's uh, go ahead and just go like, I don't know. And say if the shadows too, uh, the more dark it is, the more of a shadow you're going to get. So I think this is about it. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, jump in to the game. And here is the window. We got the reflective surface. And we got the uh, trees. You can still see through it. Uh, not really what I would go with. I would actually tweak it a bit until I get what I want. But uh, this is a tutorial and I believe you guys got the basic adjust of it. Um, I'd actually probably move this in to get it a bit less. But I will 
do that later. Um, smoothness. Let's just move the smoothness down to let's go nine. So it's a bit less. Oh uh, yeah, ten. I actually like it pretty high up. But yeah, it's all about uh, just tweaking everything to your preference, whatever you guys like, and uh, getting everything how you all like it. But uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, hopefully you guys uh, liked it. And if you did, uh, hopefully the, I'll see you guys use this in your game. And leave a like, comment down below, and I'll see you guys later.